Hey guys, I'm back. I'm here with Aiden. It is, uh, it's snowing. We have, I don't know, a good six inches already. Uh, a good six inches. Um, I decided it's, and it's nighttime and it is bright out. And let me show you, it's like 10 o'clock at night. And, uh, oh, now you can, you can see the, the depth of this snow too. So we're enjoying it. I figured, uh, I would see if I could actually pull off a video out here. I know it's kind of low light, but I got several videos I want to do. And the first one is something that I saw. And you know, sometimes when I see a knife, I just get so excited at the prospect of what it could potentially be. I grab it. I just, I click the button, I buy it. Um, so right now we're going to look at the Kershaw decoy. I think it's a pretty good knife. Um, We'll do shout outs in another video, but let's see. Now, if you remember a little while ago, and it's pretty dark out here, I think we're gonna have to go inside to really see the details of it. But a little while ago, we talked about, we looked at the Kershaw Shuffle as a small, lightweight, hey Aiden, you yeah. enjoying the snow? Yeah, yeah. go out there. You wanna go back out into the wilderness land? Yeah. All right, see if you can do the gate. We looked at the Kershaw Shuffle as a, you know, a small, lightweight, EDC kind of knife. Just something really small to keep in your pocket. Functionality is good. Size is, you know, if you're into the small knife, you're into the small knife. If you're looking for something unobtrusive, it's cool. Talked about how it comes in different blade steels, but you're kind of limited on options. Well, the decoy, and I don't know how well any of it's showing up. We will look at it inside, I promise. I saw it and I said, wow, I've, I have got to try that one out. I just have to compare it. It's a little deceptive because looking at the design, you'd think it was a slip joint or a friction folder. It is not, it's a liner lock, but it's another small knife, about the same size, worn cliff blade, but all the stuff that I really like about the shuffle, I really like about the decoy. It's got some bonuses though that I really, really like about this knife over the shuffle. A couple things that I think are a little weird, a little gimmicky, but overall, this is a really great knife. Unfortunately, I was really hoping to do this video outside. I think we're gonna have to go inside so you can actually see the detail on it and everything. Um, what a shame. So I'm gonna go inside in light so we can see it, um, but I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back inside. Uh, we've got a Doctor Who marathon going on in here, starting with number nine, working all the way up, uh, catching up. So, you might hear it in the background, but let's review. So, standard Kershaw Shuffle. We talked all about it. There's there's other videos on it. And you know what? If you miss it, I'll put a link to, to that video in the video description. And here is the decoy. So, the decoy, again, same size, similar weight, to the shuffle. Different design features though. Number one, and I'm thrilled to say this, no bottle opener. Yeah, they did it. No bottle opener. Yay. So we look on the outside, um, the construction is kind of similar, okay? So similar size blade like we looked at outside. Same plastic or whatever they're calling it, glass filled nylon, whatever, handles. The difference is, you clearly see a different shape uh, I think that this is a bit more comfortable and you've got some rubber inlays there for a really nice, good, firm grip. If you flip it over, clip is pretty different. Now, I really like the deep carry clip that comes with the shuffle, but you've got this pry bar part that sticks up pretty well ahead of it anyway. Now, you don't exactly have a full deep carry clip on the decoy, but you do have a very wide, very secure, and relatively deep carry clip. So it's kind of there, kind of not. But what you don't have that you have here is any part of the knife that comes up jutting beyond that clip. So if you take a look at like the maximum point of where the clip kind of sits in the pocket and you compare it, it sits up about the same, maybe just a little bit more of the shuffle sticking up out of your pocket right there than the decoy. They're both made in China, so you're not losing you know, anything there. Don't have a bottle opener. Like I illustrated before, uh, rather than thumb studs or anything, you have the little lever look 
of what you normally would assume would be a friction folder, but it's not, it's actually a liner lock. Um, so complaint number one about this is that liner lock, uh, for my big thumbs anyway, that's pretty, that's a little uncomfortable. It can be a little hard to disengage that lock at times. But I do like, for some reason, I just, I like the whole feel of a friction folder and I really like that opening system. If you take a look at the lock up there, this has pretty early lockup, and you know now after the Ethan Grow video, I'm all about testing the actual lockup of my liner locks. And I'm an old dog, but you can teach me new tricks. Yeah. Um, so the lock holds pretty well, even though it's very thin, and you can see that it comes very early lockups. So you've got a lot of life in that lock. But, you know, if you take a look, there's really, there's not a lot of real estate to get your thumb on there. And the more I open and close this, kind of the easier it gets. But it is a little bit awkward the first few times. See, now it's like really hard again. It's a lot more difficult to get the hang of it and close. If you take a look at the shuffle, you've got all that space. So big cutout there in the scale to get access to the lock. Uh, it's, you know, a personal preference thing. Sure, you could take a Dremel to this, and you could grind down a little bit if you wanted to. I personally would not like to do that. But, you know, you could take a thumbnail and wedge it in there or whatever, but it just, it gives you a little moment of stick. Now, maybe the lock will break in a little bit as we go, and it'll be easier. I just, I worry a little bit about catching my thumb in there, trying to disengage that lock and really having to put a lot of pressure there until I fold it up. I have a feeling it will wear itself in and, and ease in a little bit better though. Centering out of the box is perfect. I'm trying to catch it. Design elements wise, so we know the shuffle's available in a bunch of colors. So with the decoy, you only get one color option, but you know, I'm okay with it. I like it. So black oxide coated blade, um, black handle scales, you get the fairly decorative pivot for all your stylish needs. Um, I like the green backspacer. It's also plastic, but it kind of looks nice. It's got a little texture. Really doesn't do anything for the grip, but it's there. Hey, Tato. Now, there's there's one added feature, and they call it a feature. And I'll be on, I'll, honestly, I, I don't I don't know what it does for you, but so it, it has pincers, and that's what they call it, pincers, not tweezers, pincers. You got little tabs right here, and you slide them, and like this little honeybee stinger comes out of its ass and it grabs onto things. So if you want to use them as tweezers, it, it, it's a little hard. You gotta maneuver back and forth. I'm not understanding exactly what this is for, but it's on there. And it does give you a pretty good secure grip for picking up small items, as thin as a piece of paper. I, I, I don't, I think it's kind of a, I honestly think it's kind of a gimmicky feature. I'm probably not likely to use this and I looked up a couple reviews, you know, as I was doing my research just for the, the measurements and, and everything on it. And I read a couple that said that over time, going in and out of the pocket, these can catch and, you know, well, I mean, this one's brand new, so it's nice and tight, but they can do that. I don't know. I'm not so much concerned about these. Look, if you want to use your, your honeybee stinger ass to do whatever you want, that's great. I'm more looking at the, the blade shape the utility of it, ease of maintenance, the comfort level of this handle, the grip you get with it with the rubber, and by the way, that jimping up there just grabs your thumb perfect versus the shuffle. Uh, it's clearly, there's a big difference. You can feel it when you're holding it. I think that this is, if you were gonna compare the two, this would be a winner. Now, of course, it doesn't come the bottle opener, oh God, but I guess it also doesn't come with a pry bar if you need that. I don't know how much prying you're going to be doing with this. And there is a slight weight difference, but overall, I, I think it offers you, I, I mean, I think it's a good knife. Now, you can't get it in a decorative color. Oh, well. But I really like this. Um, like I was talking about ease of blade maintenance. I mean, it is just easier to sharpen a straight Warncliffe blade than anything with a curve anytime, no matter what your level of experience. So it, it all kind of, a lot of it comes down to what do you think feels better in your hand, what style of blade you prefer. Utility-wise, 
I think a nice straight blade is always going to be more useful than the drop point, than the curve, um, just for lots of reasons. I do like the clip, the deep carry clip that comes on the shuffle better, and it just occurred to me, I wonder if the uh, screw placement is the same, and it looks like if you compare it right there, there's just the slightest difference to prevent you from mounting your, um, your shuffle clip onto your decoy. Uh, I'm not sure about the screw size even. What I'm looking at is the actual width of the screws and how far apart they are. And it looks like there is just the slightest difference so that you can't do it, unfortunately. I guess we never actually know unless we try. Might as well give it a shot. So the good news is that they're both T6, makes it easy. Moment of truth. Oh, I was wrong. Always actually try, always actually try, look at that. So look at that, I was wrong. You can mount the deep carry clip from the shuffle onto the decoy if you were so inclined to do that. So all you wanna do is make sure that you're using one with a black clip so it matches everything else, but then you have a truly deep carry knife. That's actually a really nice surprise. I really like that that works out. Uh, I'm glad I actually did the test instead of just holding it up against it and making the assumption. Cause this now is gonna fit in a pocket perfectly and be in there and barely visible at all. Awesome, awesome. So just a couple things. We haven't talked about general fit and finish, which is, as usual, per Kershaw standards, really good. Um, there's no overbiting of scales over the liners. There's no underbiting of liners you know, in the scales. Everything feels very smooth. Everything looks well finished. Um, everything is really, really nicely done. I guess all we got left is the standard edge out of the box test. Beautiful. Nice. Super nice clean cut. I love cutting cord with a worn clip blade. It's so easy. So when I had this clip on there, I found out that yeah, in fact, when I put it in my pocket, sometimes this little tab was, was catching on the lip of the pocket. Uh, and I didn't like that. So I put the original clip back on just to see. I thought maybe this would, uh, the way it was shaped would protect that tab or something, but turns out it doesn't. So yeah, occasionally in and out of the pocket, this does catch. Um, that's not great. Um, happened about, I don't know, 25% of the time. Also something to remember, with your regular shuffle, when you put it in your pocket, the bottom of the knife is the bottom of the knife. With this guy, the bottom of the knife is all the way over here. So you need to factor that in. Something else that I, I just sort of forgot when I was testing it out. Something else of note, uh, you are you have no clip options. It is right hand, tip up, and if you like anything else, they don't care. That's what you got. But overall, I like this knife. It's my style. If I'm into carrying a small blade that day, I choose this one over the regular shelf. Uh, yeah, a couple issues here and there, but things that I think with a little bit of time and practice and carry, you can get used to very easily. I probably will put that deep carry clip back on since either one of these, you risk messing with uh, that little tab for the pincers. Not sure what those pincers really honestly do for you, to tell you the truth, but I like this little guy. This would be my choice of carry over the shuffle just about any day of the week. Unless I had a specific reason I needed another bottle opener or a pry bar. So what do you guys think? Uh, I have not seen or heard a lot about this knife so far. So uh, I know it's not brand new, but I'm not sure, you know, how many people EDC this or even have it in their lineup. I'd love to hear your opinions on it. Originally, I thought when I saw it too, you know, normally you see this again, friction folder. I thought, sweet. Something for all the viewers, you know, all the queen subjects. Uh, I was a little disappointed actually that it was a liner lock and not just a friction folder. I thought that was gonna be something really cool. But anyway, 
it is what it is and it's and it's pretty good overall all right guys you are all totally awesome i appreciate every single one of you and i'll be back again real soon